Hello everyone, I am Durgesh Sahani and we are creating tutorials for REST API development using JWT. So in the previous session we have seen uh, some validation parts and then we have created database and some required tables and also we have created our database connection file. Now in, in this session we are going to see our actual process API and uh, that API will create over here and we have to uh, call it from here and it should respond so for example we have this API generate token <coughs> so we have to create uh, so let's start from here uh, we'll create one new function public function function name and while debugging just for uh, checking whether we are coming here or not so we'll call one function or one uh, variable that param that we have set uh, into the rest class we just want to check whether we are able to access it over here or not now we have to call it from here so we have to create object of that api class api is equal to new api and in PHP we have one concept reflection method by using that reflection method uh, we can call any function dynamically just we have to pass two arguments uh, class name and the function name which we want to call so I will create one object uh, of reflection method so I will name it r method variable name and new reflection method which accept two parameter first one is class name so our class name is api and the second one function name so function name is already stored here at service name now we'll check one condition over here uh, if method exist function we'll use to check whether the, this method is exist into this class or not so we'll pass the object of the class like api whether this in api api object this method is exist or not so this service name if it is not exist we'll throw an error throw error and we have one constant for it api does not exist so yes and the message will be api does not exist if it is successful if the api is exist then we call uh, invoke method and it accept object of the class so now this part is ready and we'll go here uh, index.php and just call the process api function now just let's check whether we are getting that uh, so we have here we want to print this parameter now let's just check uh, yes we are able to access this so now we have email address and password so these two things we are able to access now the here comes the uh, actual part of validating those parameters so we already have created one function for that if you see here validate parameters which accept uh, four parameters field name value data type and is it required or not so 
required and by default it will be true so what we will do now um, dollar so we know that we are going to get these two parameters first one is email and the password into this function so uh, we'll use user is equal to dollar this and validate parameter and we here we have to pass all the parameters first one will be user and the value of this so you can get it from here like this um, email you can change it to email and the third parameter data type so it is a string type so if you see here I already have created some constant for it it is a string type right so you can specify over here and yes it is required so we are not that is the optional parameters um, required default is true so no need to pass it from here or you can pass true uh, if, if it is not required we can pass it from here false okay now uh, we have to include that constant okay already we have included into the rest so it will be available here so it will go here into this function and in this function we have to do the write the logic for validating or uh, this user not user it is an email this parameter email if it is validated successfully it will return this and it will get stored into email so now that's just uh, ready this function now so what we have to do actually here is uh, first thing we have to check whether it is required or not so if it is true if this required parameter is true then we'll and um, that value this value is blank then we'll throw some error so we'll check one condition over here is <coughs> if um, dollar required is equal to true and dollar and dollar value is empty in that case we'll throw one error validate parameters so this we already have constant for it validate parameter um, so we'll pass here validate parameter required so we can say like that a uh, dollar or parameter is required and we can concat it like field name so it will uh, throw an error like email parameter is required okay so if we go here and we check we are not getting any error which means it is working fine if you remove this thing and we'll hit username parameter is required so what we can do uh, we have to specify one space over here now user uh, let's change it to email we already have changed it but I think we have not saved this file that's why we are getting that okay so email parameter is required now we have to pass it and will not get error okay now 
same thing for data type we have to validate whether it is string or not if it is not string then also we have to throw an error so we can use switch case um, and we'll pass this data type and if this is boolean and we have created it uh, into constant already it is boolean so if it is boolean then we'll check uh, whatever the this field we have passed and this value if this value is boolean type then allow it or uh, uh, if it is not boolean type then we can throw some error so just take one condition over here if um, is bool and pass that value if this value is boolean type then or if it is not boolean type then throw error like this same thing or data type we already have one constant for it um, data type this one so we can say data type is not valid for field name so we can concat it dollar field name and same thing we have to repeat for uh, integer so if it is integer so we have to check whether is numeric if it is not numeric then we'll say data type is not valid for this and we can specify it should be uh, like that it should be numeric and here we can specify should be boolean and same thing we have to repeat for string if it is string then we will check uh, if it is not string or okay i think then we'll throw this error it should be string and if everything is okay then we simply we can return this that value and that value will get stored over here so let's check echo dollar email if everything is good then we'll get that this email field so if you go there and execute you are getting this value for example if I am specifying it like this oh, it will not work actually if it is a string if it is a numeric then only it will work okay Further, we will see that uh, for data type validations things when it is satisfied. So now we are getting this thing. That's mean all this function is working fine. 
properly now we have to do the same thing for password so we'll declare one variable pass and here we have to pass pass here as well and it is string and it is also required we can check as well here we are getting this value now uh, we are done with the uh, validations we have written the validate parameters over here successfully and also we have written process api function so how to call any so in like further we will have multiple functions over here so we can call that all these function this process api will work dynamically for all the all the api you have written so this is all in this tutorials we will see uh, in the next tutorial we will see uh, how to generate a token the actual jwt token generation part we will see in the next tutorials so thank you very much guys for watching